Last week, the Bureau of Reclamation released high levels out of Arizona's Glen Canyon Dam. It went into the Colorado River and eventually Lake Mead. Lake Mead's water level has been rising, and the outlook for the area is becoming more optimistic. The increased flow of water into the lake has instilled hope in local communities that Lake Mead may be restored to its original state. What factors have contributed to the rising water level in Lake Mead? Can these changes lead to a lasting solution for the lake's restoration? Let's explore how Lake Mead has started to refill its waters. Lake Mead, which draws its water source from Lake Powell, has been a critical water supply for the United States for decades, particularly for irrigation in the surrounding regions. In addition to its practical uses, Lake Mead has also become a popular tourist destination. Lake Mead serves as a significant reservoir for the Hoover Dam, with its water sources being Lake Powell and the snowmelt from the Rocky Mountains that flows into the Colorado River. Lake Powell, located between Utah and Arizona, was formed as a result of the Glen Canyon Dam overflow. The Glen Canyon Dam plays a crucial role in the region, providing the majority of water supply and electricity for the Southwest United States and parts of Mexico. While a small portion of this water supports urban areas in the Southwest, most of it is used for irrigation, similar to Lake Mead. The declining water level in Lake Powell has started to reverse, thanks to recent increases in snowpack in the region. In 2021, it was feared that the reservoir's water level might drop too low for the Glen Canyon Dam to generate electricity. However, the increased snowpack in Lake Powell's region has helped address this issue. The year 2023 is expected to be among the top five years with the highest snowpack levels, which will contribute to more water being released into Lake Mead by the Glen Canyon Dam through Lake Powell. Recent data from the U.S. Bureau of Reclamation shows that the snow water equivalent in the Colorado Rockies has reached 158% of the average, an increase of about 8% in just one week. This development ensures more water can be released into Lake Mead. Lake Powell's contribution to the rising water level is a significant factor in the overall increase. As water is released, Lake Mead's water level has been steadily rising, reversing the decline experienced over the past decades. While the above-average snowpack in Colorado is not a complete solution to water scarcity, it does provide a better chance for the lake's survival. The effort to restore Lake Mead holds considerable significance. As one of the most critical water sources in the southwest United States, Lake Mead's decline poses a threat to water supply and irrigation for agriculture in the region. The lake has four water basins along the river channels and provides water for cities such as Las Vegas, North Las Vegas, Henderson, and Boulder City, totaling roughly 25 million people, while also generating electricity for approximately 1.3 million people. Beyond domestic and agricultural uses, Lake Mead's importance extends to other areas as well. Agriculture accounts for a significant portion of Lake Mead's water usage, while industrial purposes follow closely behind. The lake's water is primarily used for commercial power generation and hydropower, with profits funding the dam's construction and covering operation, maintenance, and replacement costs. The drought affecting Lake Mead has been caused by a combination of human and natural factors. Increased population and water consumption have placed considerable strain on the lake, which now struggles to provide for a population that has nearly doubled its original capacity. Moreover, water diversion for agriculture not only contributes to the decline in water levels, but also leads to water pollution as waste and chemicals are washed into the lake. The most significant natural factors contributing to the lake's decline are climate change and extreme weather conditions. Global warming and unfavorable weather lead to higher temperatures and irregular rainfall, causing increased evaporation without adequate replenishment. The reduced rainfall has resulted in some of the lowest recorded levels, while dry and cracked soil has led to erosion and the expansion of badlands. Agriculture in California and Arizona depends heavily on Lake Mead's water supply, with irrigation accounting for over 70% of the water released into the lake. The remaining 30% is divided between power production, industrial use, and supplying water to a growing population. As a result, California is experiencing one of the most severe mega droughts recorded in the last 1,000 years. While the situation is concerning, measures have been taken to manage the water crisis effectively. 
For decades, Lake Mead's water levels have been declining, but only recently reached their lowest point. It is essential to remain cautious and aware of the potential consequences if the situation is not properly managed. The government has implemented various recovery plans for Lake Mead, including the U.S. Bureau of Reclamation's Water Usage Reduction Strategy, known as the 2023 Water Cut Project. This initiative involves not only Colorado, but also other states dependent on Lake Mead's water supply. The project aims to improve water conservation and preservation across these cities. In August 2022, the federal government of Colorado introduced a two-tiered water reduction project for Lake Mead and the Colorado River. This plan, which has been in effect since January 2023, aims to limit the amount of water Southern Nevada can withdraw from Lake Mead. The project was implemented in response to the emergency threat of water shortages, resulting in reduced water supply allocations for various states dependent on Lake Mead until a significant improvement in the lake's water level is observed. Plans have also been proposed to purchase farmlands and pay farmers to conserve water. The compensation offered is up to $400 per acre foot of water left in Lake Mead. However, support for this initiative has been limited. Numerous other restoration projects are also in progress, such as the Arid Land Restoration and Revegetation Initiative, which involves active soil manipulation, research studies, and desert revegetation. It is crucial for Colorado to maintain the benefits of Lake Powell, which provides more than just water supply to Lake Mead. Lake Powell is the primary water source for the lower basin states, including California, Nevada, and Arizona, and serves as the second largest reservoir next to Lake Mead, holding up to 26 million acre-feet of water. Lake Powell's large storage capacity has provided a reliable backup for many decades and allowed Arizona to develop significantly over time. The reservoir is also a popular tourist destination and serves as a major source of hydroelectric power generation. Due to its sandstone composition, Lake Powell helps preserve water by depositing it into other water bodies, such as Lake Mead instead of flooding. Additionally, the Powell Dam supports the Hoover Dam by not only reducing its workload for water supply, but also contributing to electricity generation for the region and much of Colorado's population. This shared responsibility ensures the longevity of both dams and a balanced workload. The transfer of water from Lake Powell to Lake Mead also benefits the lake and its surrounding environment. With the increased water supply to Lake Mead, factors that negatively impacted the ecosystem can now be reversed, promoting a healthier ecosystem. Furthermore, the resumption of suspended recreational activities and tourism is anticipated. The recent improvements in Lake Mead's water levels have provided more than just hope. They have also restored a sense of security for the affected communities. The positive changes have far-reaching implications, with many more developments expected in the future. That concludes today's video. We'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments section, and please remember to subscribe and hit the like button. Thank you for watching. Thank you.